we tend to look at digital accessibility sort of in three <clears throat> different buckets, or we see more accurately when people come to us, they sort of fit in one of these three buckets in terms of their motivation for coming here. And of course, the one we like to see the most is just sort of this, we'll call it morality, but you could call it all sorts of different things. But this is when somebody sort of gains the awareness that um, digital properties need to be made accessible to be able to be used by everyone, including people with disabilities, and want to do that because they want to be inclusive and they don't want to exclude a, a, a certain group. So universal access is the right thing to do. Corporate and social responsibility can influence this, right? And the benefits of that is that um, it improves things like brand reputation, reputation in general, and can totally um, increase the overall value of that brand. Um, and certainly, um, attract a whole audience that you might be leaving out otherwise. Um, the other thing, which a lot of people, you know, this is a motivator for a lot of people and, and kind of the, you know, you could make an ends justify the means argument here, but nonetheless, there is a legal risk out there um, for organizations who have digital properties, um, especially ones that are uh, public facing. Um, so the ADA in 1990 was put in place and it said places of public accommodation need to be accessible to people with disabilities. Fast forward through the 2000s all the way to today. And um, even though in 1990 there was not websites accommodating the public, there is today. And um, the ADA has been extremely clear that uh, they count. So um, that's where a lot of the, the legal issues come through. And then economically, as I mentioned, when we're talking about morality, um, there's, oh, you can see the statistic here um, in the slide I'm looking at. There's four, or we're, we're seeing, it says that there's 400 billion in disposable income um, in the community of people with disabilities. That's a huge market segment. So when you make your website accessible to people with disabilities, you're opening yourself up to that marketing segment, just as there's multiple statistics out there, but that's probably one of the more compelling to mention up front. Um, so there's a really good uh, ROI, we call it ROA, return on accessibility, um, over here, but um, uh, there's some real good arguments.